To begin with, turtles are probably one of the oldest groups of animals on Earth. They have basically gone unchanged since the time of dinosaurs, and yet we know so little about them. They breathe air like us, but everything else about them seems almost alien. Yet they are majestic animals. A big part of their diet is seagrass. In turn, they are also important to seagrass beds themselves. Turtles are like lawnmowers. They keep the grass trimmed and healthy. Healthy seagrass is vital to our crystal clear waters. It also supports many species we depend on, like conchs and juvenile groupers. Turtles begin life on land. A female will swim long distances to lay their eggs on the same beach year after year. She waits for nightfall. The mother covers them with sand for protection. A nest on a beach can hold over 100 baby turtles. Those that don't hatch nourish the dune vegetation. These dunes protect our islands from storm surges and hurricanes. In the next few nights, she may return to the same beach to lay multiple nests. The eggs develop about two months before hatching. When they hatch, they make their way down to the ocean but only one in a thousand will live. Most of the hatchlings are eaten by predators like shorebirds and groupers. But because they lay so many eggs, turtles have been able to survive millions of years of predation. Unfortunately, the pressures of survival have not prepared them for human hunting and egg poaching. Their numbers have declined rapidly since we arrived on these islands. Turtles are endangered all over the world, including here in the Bahamas. So in 2009, our government placed a ban on the killing of turtles. It got banned without any, in my personal opinion, without any Bahamian concern. People uh, won't catch them, but they can't catch them because they're scared of the law. I don't think there should be a total outright ban. A couple of months of the year, I could understand, but not for him. Yeah. Yeah. No foreigners take them and ban the sale of it in restaurants. Everyone just goes out and if they see a turtle now and again, they'll just catch one for a meal and then it's not just for them because once it's, it comes to the shore, it's a couple neighbors or friends who'll come by and get a piece of it for a meal too. Me personally, I eat everything but the guts. <laughs> and it's not like they go out every day and get them. Probably two or three a year. The Hayman people used to eat the turtle like all their life, you know. As something that we've always done, I think it's wrong that a law could come in and say, you can't do it anymore. We hope that, that change. Very unfortunate. We that open back up. I pray the Lord is open, but you can make money off it. Yeah. That means I can't go out there and get one to eat again, but if it's to preserve the turtles, then I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Even though 
getting one or two might not make a difference. It would open the door to allow certain people to abuse this resource. There have been many incidents where unsavory locals have used the threat of killing a turtle to extort money from naive tourists. We Bahamians can distinguish ourselves. Instead of driving this ancient species to extinction, we can be the nation that preserves them and revives their population. It's amazing that we see so many turtles in the Bahamas. It shows how healthy our ecosystems are, especially compared to the rest of the world. Our country can set a good example for other nations with this ban. But mostly we should protect turtles because they are a truly cool and beautiful animal. And it is exciting to experience them in the wild. <laughs>